Hey guys, what's up? So glad to be here. I want to thank you all for subscribing and liking and commenting the video. It's been a huge support and you guys just help us continue making more of these videos. So um, today we're going to see some shortcuts and some tips. Well, the most used uh, things that I think I use for, for Photoshop and I think that it could help everyone too. All right, let's get started. <laughs> Okay, well, um, let's start with the basics. I'm, I'm gonna be very basic here, so for you most advanced people, you might wanna skip to, I don't know, maybe advance a little bit, but I'm gonna start with the basic, basic, basic people, because I know there are some people that, that haven't seen uh, my videos and don't know how much I move around. So let's start. So to open a new file, you can press Control N, and you press OK, and you select the file number, and you have a new file. To do a new layer, you put Control Shift Alt N and you have a new layer. I don't know exactly what the commands in a Mac are. I think uh, Control is Command and Shift is Shift and Alt. I don't know. But yeah, Control Shift Alt New is a new layer. Um, on the new layer, you can press B, the B for brush tool, and you're going to have the brush tool selected. If you press uh, the V, the small V, you are going to have the selection button. So <clears throat> if you if you every time go back to the toolbar, select this, then select this, then select this. Uh, right now it doesn't seem that complicated, but when your file is very heavy or when you have so much so little time, this is going to be key. You know, B for brush tool, V for selection, key. Um, when you're in the brush tool, B, uh, you you can do, you, you can right click and make the size bigger and make the hardness you know, softer or not softer, but <clears throat> you can also do the same, the following, press alt, right click, and when you move toward the le to the left or to the right, it's going to get bigger. Or smaller if you do the same thing but move up or down it's going to get softer the brush is going to get softer or it's going to get harder now you see that by default I have a like a red intensity here so that's because I have it in a hundred percent but if I want to lower the opacity I can just press 1 on my keyboard and it's going to be 10 10% opacity. 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 5. If you, see, if you uh, click them fast, it's going to be like, for example, double 3, 33. But if you just do 3, it's going to be 30%. 0 is 100, 9 is 90, etc., etc., etc. So when you see that, if I make it big, it's not that intense. Next tool. Um, L for lasso. So if you guys want to select something, just press L on your keyboard. And sometimes, sometimes this happens. You know that you select L, and it's not happening now. And and these things pop up. What you have to do is just click on the screen and select L again, and it's going to work. Select L, and you can do your selection. Uh, you can press W for magic wand. Uh, so when you press W, you're going to press the magic wand. You can press G for color bucket. bucket. So the color bucket is this one. If you have it on a paint bucket or a gradient tool, it's going to go to the default. I always have it on paint bucket because it's the one I use the most. So you're going to paint it. Um, you can press C to, to crop or to change the canvas. So when I select the C, I can make the canvas figure bigger, or I can make it smaller, or I can I can um, just do this, and it's going to be selected. All right, escape. Um, you can press S for stamp when you're going to uh, to use the, the the clone tool. So when you press S, and you press Alt on a section you can now clone it everywhere 
um, you can press E for erase and you can erase in in different types of brushes so I want to, I'm going to erase in this brush I want to erase in a tree in a person brush style I can do that as well you see the majority of times you're going to have two colors here uh, it's going to have black and white or white and black or whatever color you have I, when you when you press X on your keyboard the colors are going to change right so if I have uh, for example yellow and I press X it's going to change but it's going to remain yellow if I press uh, red now I'm going to have these two all right just press X um, if you want to do a new layer no I already did that one so to, to, to color the background layer faster I can press G and just click and it's going to be colored but I can also press alt and alt erase I think alt backshift and it's going to be like that um, when you want to select something on a layer like for example I have this building so when you ha when you want to separate it from that layer but not cut it out you just press Control J and then you're gonna have only that part you see when you when you want to do the opposite when you want to cut it out you press Control shift J and it's not gonna be there anymore and it's going to be on a new layer and when you want to make a selection of what is on a layer you can press Control and click over the bots not over the text over the bots and it's going to select whatever is on the layer all right um, to, to make a mask uh, for example let's go to this one all right yeah to make a mask for example I want to make a black and white mask I can just go to adjustments select black and white or brightness and contrast or I can go here uh, and look for black and white all right and everything is going to be black and white if you have other layers underneath that you don't want to be black and white you can just apply it especially to this layer by pressing alt and when an arrow appears you see when I have her hover my mouse over like the intersection of these two layers it's going to appear so if I have another layer beneath like for example let's unlock this like for example a colored layer and I move this one it's not going to be black and white all right color palettes the majority of the time we want <clears throat> I don't know to do an image based on a certain color palette like for example here is from from very cold to very very warm but if I didn't have a color palette you could select one from movies images whatever but you can also go here to window um, window what is this? Oh, you can go to Window, extension, Extensions, Adobe Color Themes. And it's going to open. I think you need internet. I think you do. Uh, I don't know. Adobe Color Themes. So you're just going to wait for it to load. And you're going to have different color themes depending on different variables and subjects. And you can change them and drag them. And like, for example, when you have one color theme selected, like, for example, you're going to use that color theme. Or you can also uh, look on suggested color themes that they have over here. And you can just save your own themes. So, for example, I'll go to most popular and Sandy Stone Ocean River. Then I can put add to swatches. And all the color themes are going to be, oops, and all the th color themes that I select are going to be added. So I, now I can apply them to um, my, uh, my image. Another, another useful, useful tool is to press uh, uh, Control-0 to fit the image inside of the interface you're working in. Control-0. And if you press press Control One, it's going to show your image in real size. So if you were to print it or whatever, it's going to show the image how it really is going to be. So maybe 
sometimes your real size may be, I don't know, like this one. And it's going to be very, very bad image. So you're going to have to or work in a bigger thing or not print it as big. Um, another, another tool is press control R to see the rules. So when you see the rules right here, there are some rules that when you press control R, control or command R, they appear or disappear. You can also change the unit by right clicking on, on them and changing them to pixels, changing them to points or millimeters, centimeters, feet, whatever. All right, so I have them in centimeters and that's all right. Well, I think that is it. Those are the most used shortcuts and tips I would recommend. Uh, if you guys have any recommendations for other shortcuts and tips, write them in the comments. Uh, and uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. This was a different kind of video. I hope you liked it. Uh, I am working on all the requests that you guys have. I know there are a lot of requests, so uh, just bear with me. I want to do a tutorial on architectural portfolios, on presentation boards, on designing books. I'm I'm really working working on them, but those videos just take a little bit longer and I really didn't want to really say another time-lapse tutorial which is also fun but I just don't want to you know release all of them at the same time and yeah so just bear with me remember to follow me on Instagram and Facebook for for more inside details and you know to talk better and thank you remember to subscribe remember to turn the notification bell on and Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. See you later.